we are all familiar with this map and all of us I am sure have seen this map at some point or the other. This is from the IDF Atlas 2015 which tells us where the burden of uh, hyperglycemia and pregnancy is. As we all know today the term preferred term of use is not gestational diabetes but hyperglycemia and pregnancy. Now the Southeast Asian region has the highest burden of hyperglycemia and pregnancy with about 6.3 million live births and a 25 percent prevalence. About 10 percent of these come from pre-existing diabetes mellitus. This is why the FIGO GDM initiative is such an important initiative which basically um, increases the awareness and, and urges the obstetric community to tackle and place gestational diabetes mellitus as a global health priority. And the reason for this is because pregnancy offers a window of opportunity not just to establish services and improve the health of the pregnant woman but to prevent intergenerational transmission of a non-communicable disease. Now are we moving to a consensus with regard to the criteria or the way in which we diagnose gestational diabetes? In many a sense we are. The IADPSG criteria using a fasting um, and a 1 hour and 2 hour cutoff of a fasting 25 gram GTT is what is accepted by the WHO, uh, FIGO, ADA, the Australian bodies and the European bodies. NICE of course has a slightly higher fasting cutoff and the Americans uh, still advocate a two step uh, test. DIPSI recommends the non fasting 2 hour 140 gram test which is what is uh, incorporated into our national policy. So there is a lot of confusion on what to do and which test to follow and in order to for us to understand what we are doing as clinicians and what we think we are doing and is that different from what we are actually doing, we did a study on part of as part of the WINGS study which was an IDF project and in this we did a survey of 3841 doctors, both physicians and obstetricians asking them various questions with regard to screening, would they screen universally, when would they screen etc. The good thing was that 85 percent of them offered universal screening, 